hello everyone this is the second uh, uh, video um, in regards to configuring uh, local storage in the first video we went through a quick definition of uh, disk management um, and we started the lab as uh, on server number two and we added four new disks one disk is already available which is known as c drive and we uh, we added the four we added four drives and one of the drive we formatted and make it an e drive and now we'll be working with the other uh, three drives using uh, different tools and different way of formatting so I'm on the server I am uh, actually on file and storage services if file and storage service is not open you can always go to server manager here and server manager it will open this screen and from server uh, server manager you can go to file and storage services from file and storage services you need to go to the disks it will show you how many disks are added how many disks are available on the server and we can see the first two disks are online one is c drive the other one is um, uh, and the other one is e drive and we can format the third uh, disk so uh, we can right click on this we can bring it online and we can click yes and as soon as we do so the disk is initialized but still it is not ready this uh, this just uh, initializes the disk so in order to use the disk we can create a new volume when you're creating a new volume it pr it uh, provides another uh, another uh, starts another wizard we can select disk number two which is 20 GB and click OK and here it asks that if I need to use the complete disk size or I can partition the disk as this is a GPT we can create 128 partition so I'm gonna do is I'm gonna select uh, a 14 GB out of 20 leaving uh, 6 GB so that we can extend later on uh, and here click next and here it should assign a drive letter and the next drive letter that is available is drive letter F we can go to next and here we're gonna name this uh, we're gonna name this as uh, DB storage I mean you can name this uh, disk anything so I'm gonna name this DB storage just for remembering and create so in few minutes it will be able to create the disk so uh, previously when we created the disk we used uh, disk uh, computer management utility and use disk management we right clicked on this as you as we can see the disk 2 uh, is still uh, not updated here as so but as soon as but as you can see now it is updated so out of 20 gb 14 gb is used and 6 gb almost 6 gb is un unused and why i kept it unused so that we can extend it at at any point in time in case uh, this drive is full so for now i'm going to go back to windows explorer and this is where we can make sure uh, that disk f is available and it is of 14 gb i can go inside and create uh, any files and folders inside so here i can go to i can create a file this time and this let's say this is uh, IT reports so this is one file I've created and this uh, basically this is to show that the disk drive is ready so so far we have seen two tools number one computer management number two is uh, 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 server manager uh, server manager with the uh, server manager uh, with the file and uh, file and storage services and we create the second volume and the third tool I wanted to show you is uh, disk part utility disk part utility is a command line utility we can we need to go to start and we can type here uh, CMD as soon as you type CMD here it will open a command prompt and uh, from the command prompt uh, you can type dir command dir command would just show you files and folders uh, you can uh, type cls command um, i would suggest you writing these uh, small commands uh, these commands are used every now and then whenever you're uh, in uh, a command prompt we can write command most of the stuff in windows or servers we can uh, manage through mouse uh, and and all of the menus but sometimes we do need to write uh, type some commands so uh, cls will be basically clear the screen so that utility to manage the disk is called a disk part as soon as you type disk part what it does basically it gives another 
uh, prompt so this is called our disk prompt and uh, what we can do we can uh, in order to see the help of all of the commands uh, you can type just help and it will show you all of the available commands that are uh, that we can write in this uh, prompt so in order to see all of the disks available we can say uh, list disks so it will show me that how many disks are available so three are available three are online uh, this is the default disk and the second one we created from using computer management and the third one was uh, we created using the, the file manager uh, and the third uh, and, uh, and and third and fourth are still offline so uh, we can also run a command called list volumes list volume uh, so basically list volume uh, list volume will show us how many volumes are available how many disks are uh, formatted uh, so uh, we can see a disk volume of so this is a CD drive uh, the next one is uh, the next the next volume is a system drive so this is automatically created uh, which is 500 MB when the Windows server is installed uh, this is C drive E drive and F drive these are the drives that we just made and this is the last drive that we made uh, which is 14 uh, 14 GB let's say if we wanted to delete this volume that I can see right here Windows uh, so if I go to this PC I can see uh, C drive E drive and F drive let's say if I wanted to delete E drive so we can go to disk parse utility I, we can delete the e drive using either of these tools but i'm going to show you disk parse utility here so what we can do is first of all we need to select this volume so what the volume number is three for e drive so i'm going to say select volume three so volume three is selected and then we can say delete and delete basically delete volume three uh, and remember if you run this on on let's say uh, this volume number two it will delete everything and your oper op operating system will crash so here uh, it's saying uh, delete so delete volume uh, three okay so oh i think we don't need to give a letter because since the volume was already selected it is select volume and volume 3 is selected and the selected volume is this and when we're deleting it we can delete the volume without providing the number so it is volume is deleted let's list so i'm just pressing up arrow to go back to the previous commands so here list volumes so we can now see all of the other volumes except volume 3 we can go back to uh, computer management or uh, windows explorer we we don't see e drive uh, let's go back to here in the disk and the disk shows uh, 15 gb uh, disk is showing the F volume and let's actually refresh this so it has the so volume is deleted basically and explore no F is available E is deleted yes so this volume is deleted and now this is unallocated we can basically format this again and create this volume again by going here and in a few seconds you should be able to see a new volume if we go back to disk parts utility and list volume again now we're able to see that again